started in uh, at the end of February. Uh, we got uh, 18 applications, and uh, they came down to they came down to four four people. Uh, one of them was from India, another one was from uh, Sri Lanka, another one was from South Africa, and of course uh, the fourth one from the UK. Um, during the interview process, uh, the committee felt that uh, Mr. Suraj Karavadra was the right man for the job, was the right person to take uh, women's cricket uh, to the next level. And uh, his presentation during the interviews was actually very, very excellent, which impressed uh, the interviewers. And uh, one of the key points uh, why he was recruited is that he had a lot of experience with working with women all over the world, both in India, in the UK, as well as the United Arab Emirates. <clears throat> so there's a big task ahead for him. Um, the biggest task for him this year will be to take us back to the global qualifiers. Uh, if he does that, it will be our second time to be at the global qualifiers, having qualified for the same in 2017. And in 2018, we went to Netherlands for those global qualifiers. So big tournament ahead, but we believe we have brought in the right man, looking at his uh, expertise. And we believe that also during his time here, he will be able to impart skills to the local coaches because we shall have a local assistant coach. And uh, really the sky is the limit for us. Mr. Suraj, big task ahead. But like I've mentioned, we believe you're the right man. And uh, everyone believes that you have all the credentials to take women's cricket to the next level. Once again, welcome uh, to this uh, press conference. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I pride in such. When I see that now, at the time I'm leaving, that's uh, the 29th, that's when I'll be leaving uh, the chairmanship of uh, Uganda Cricket, that we have a coach, a very, very, very um, professional coach uh, for, for the women. I mean, it's always uh, why, why men, uh, you know, when a coach goes, then you bring in a coach, you haven't brought in for women. But of course, as you well know, it's always about also the resources. And maybe to make something very, very clear before you, we do not hire such coaches because we love them. As he will speak, he will tell you why he's here and how he gets here. And one of the things that will come out is some of these coaches you see here, they are that caliber that Uganda cricket could never afford to hire, but because they feel they want to give back to this uh, uh, big sport, they always find themselves uh, back in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in countries like Uganda. So we are so, so privileged to have you, Seraji. And uh, I think it's a very, very big uh, uh, honor uh, for Uganda cricket, I mean, to have two uh, specialized coaches, and I think now the sky is the limit. Personally, as I, as I step, uh, as I leave uh, on 29th, I'm very, 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 very proud that at least the national teams are in uh, very comfortable hands. Um, getting back onto uh, the ICC role, of course, I sit at the CEC, that's the Chief Executive uh, Committee. We do basically uh, take decisions, uh, or we do uh, brainstorm and make recommendations not only for Africa or Uganda but for all associates in the world. So it's basically at that level that we sit and discuss cricket and see how best we can uh, develop and move cricket. How does Uganda Africa come to benefit? They come to benefit that whatever decisions we are taking at the back of our minds of course home always comes first when you're, when you're, when, when you're exchanging notes at such a, a platform at such a level that's when you try to initiate and bring in what you think could come in and benefit uh, like um, our country, um, um, uh, uh, our continent uh, in the near future. So it is such a great honor and opportunity that I was given that um, um, uh, blessed uh, position at the CEC. So ladies and gentlemen, as always, I don't have much to say. Uh, I think action speaks uh, better than words. And I think for the time that we've been in office, I take the opportunity to thank my board members, uh, Mr. Kaheru, uh, Paul. All, we all know that what he's been able to do for uh, uh, in the last in the last four years, taking charge of all our tournaments. You know, these are the guys behind. You know, decision making. Whatever you've been saying, the organisation and everything. Uh, Ketan and the other board members that are not here, and also take this opportunity to thank uh, CEO and your team today, and obviously thank you to to everyone that's here. 
Um, I, I'm very, very proud, like uh, the gentleman to my right had mentioned, that I am, I am now back within, uh, in, in the, the grounds of Uganda. So, yeah, some of you may know that I do have uh, a history here, um, which goes way back to the, the start of the 1900s, where my uh, great-grandfather uh, resided in East Africa, um, in <coughs> predominantly in, in Kenya, uh, and then moving to, to Uganda and Tanzania. Uh, my father was actually born in, in Jinja, so uh, a very sort of proud moment for him that I'm going back and giving something back to the country uh, where he uh, grew up. Um, he, in fact, did come and visit the, uh, the country four years ago um, after leaving the country, I believe, in 1969-70, um, and he was mind-blown. You know, it was such a great experience for him going back to you know places where he was growing up and where he was born and um, so I do have a, a little bit of an idea of what what uh, Uganda is going to bring for me as a country um, but uh, yeah we I've been speaking to a lot of people the last couple of days um, this is only my second day within within the country um, but uh, we we do still sort of speak Swahili at home so we do we still do sort of uh, have a little bit incorporated into our our sort of uh, mother tongue of, of Gujarati, um, and it's uh, it does make people smile when I when I tell them Jambo Bargani to them. <laughs> so it does it does give them a little bit of a a little bit of a, a joke and a laugh. Um, but yeah, so I think for me it's it's a great opportunity, and, and obviously to thank everyone that's here um, for giving me this opportunity to, to sort of work with the lady cranes, and uh, it's definitely um, not a. a a sort of a challenge which I'm afraid of. Um, I'm definitely sort of going to be hitting the ground running and um, a lot of people have mentioned to me that, you know, it's a big challenge, you know, there's a, a heap of work that needs to be done, but not something which I'm afraid of and, and will shear away from. So definitely something which I will go full-heartedly um, and with my 150% um, to it. So, so yeah, I think um, going forward to my sort of uh, coaching career where I've coached, uh, I started um, my coaching career in, in England uh, with a county called Nottinghamshire. Um, again, it was a, a, a very a big dream to sort of go and coach at Trent Bridge uh, International Stadium. Um, I also studied sports science and coaching as well. So, you know, I've got the coaching element um, of my background uh, to sort of go with it. Um, and then sort of fast forward almost <coughs> 10 years um, I was given an opportunity to sort of go out to, uh, to the UAE and, and work for the ICC Academy, which, which uh, completely changed my, my uh, outlook and, and, and view of, of coaching at the elite level uh, and obviously being involved with, with uh, the UAE cricket team as well. So um, very, very grateful for them to, to be where I am now. Um, I have also, yes, I've also sort of um, coached in India. Um, the, the region that I'm from is, is Gujarat. Uh, in particular, a, a very uh, famous city of Porbandar, which is the, the birthplace of uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Um, you know, having sort of uh, my family also being there and growing up there, you know, again, for me, it was to sort of give back to, to, to the country and, and, and to the region. So, yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of experience behind me, um, a range of um, ages and genders, you know, but within the last sort of five, six years, I've predominantly been focusing on a... I guess that's not good luck. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so um, I've, I've sort of focused mainly on uh, elite female cricket um, within the last sort of four to five years. Um, so that's where my passion is. My passion is always to sort of push uh, women's cricket to the highest level wherever I am. Um, and to really get them on a, on a stage where they can be um, showcased as well. So, and, and it's very reassuring that, um, that the, the association, that the previous coaches um, have uh, managed to get you know, the, the, the Lady Cranes to, to uh, a position of 14 in the, in the past. And, and definitely it's, it's on the top of my mind to get them back to that level for sure within the time that I'm, I'm here. So... Um, it's got, I'm looking forward to, to working with everyone, 
with uh, the big man over there as well. So uh, trying to rub shoulders with some, some great some great cricketers and some great coaches and, and just to really get a feel of, of what the, 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 the culture is like and, 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 and how I can sort of build upon it. Um, but for me, it's more a long-term process. You know, it's about structure. It's about implementing this structure and, and a process where, you know, in the future we can be um, uh, an unbelievable team. You know, we can be, you know, one of the, the best teams within the African region um, and, and possibly within, within the association world. Um, that is my ultimate goal for, for the Ugandan, you know, the, the Lady Cranes. Um, obviously, we've got many things that are coming up. You know, we've got the, the, the series in Rwanda. Uh, we've got the, um, the, the Victoria Cup, I believe we have as well. And, and obviously the qualifiers. So we've got a lot of, a lot of cricket happening very, very quickly. Um, so I do have to go and hit the ground very, very hard. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be great. You know, the, the, the small wins are always very, very beneficial. Um, but like I said, it's about the long-term goal. Where do we see ourselves um, in the future and, and work towards that, I think, is, is the main thing. Well done.